Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel, Biodiversity and Conservation. Uh, so today I am Nivedita Jaina from Amrita Prasad Research Foundation. I am um, going to discuss about the fundamentals of environmental science and uh, its uh, definition principle and scope of study of environmental science. So let's start. So, um, before going to the details about the environmental science, we should know that why is environmental science important and um, why I, we should study the environmental science. So, um, the environmental science is important because the focus of environmental science is to learn how the natural world works, understand how we interact with our natural world, and uh, determine how we can address um, environmental issues to preserve that natural world around us. And um, understanding how the natural world works and how we interact with and impact that natural world can help us determine the most efficient and appropriate ways we can reduce those impacts or develop solutions to address those environmental problems. And um, environmental science is defined as that uh, environmental science is an interdisciplinary field that integrates scientific methods and disciplines to understand and address real world environmental challenges. And uh, the disciplines integrated into environmental science include art science, life science, physical science, and social science, and many more. Then coming to its principles, so uh, it Im improves the ability to analyze and conceptualize environmental problems in context, and it cross-disciplinary experts illustrate the value and scope of different methods it provides a multi and interdisciplinary approach and stresses the societal, cultural and historical dimensions of environmental problems. And one of the key principles of environmental science is the understanding that the environment is a complex and dynamic system that is affected by many different factors. So environmental scientists use a range of tools and techniques such as GIS, remote sensing, and statistical analysis to study the environment and to understand how it is changing over time. And another important principle of environmental science is the idea of sustainability. This means the use of natural resources in a way that meets the uh, needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. And environmental scientists work to develop sustainable resource management strategies that balance the economic development with the protection of natural resources. So overall, it is the maintaining the health, health of ecosystem. Then coming to its uh, structural element, so environment is constituted by the interacting system of physical, biological, and cultural elements interrelated in various ways, individually as well as collectively. So these elements may be explained um, like uh, physical inf uh, influenced physical element, uh, physical elements are earth space, landforms, water bodies, climate soils, rocks, and minerals. They determine the variable character of the human habitat, its opportunities as well as limitations. In second, the biological elements. So biological elements such as plants, animals, microorganisms, and may constitute the biosphere. And thirdly, Cultural elements, cultural elements such as economic, 
social and political elements are essentially man-made features which make cultural value. Then coming to the scope of environment, so the environment consists of four segments as present here, atmosphere, secondly hydrosphere, in third lithosphere and biosphere. So the atmosphere implies the protective blanket of gases surrounding the earth, it sustains life on the earth, it saves it from the hostile environment of outer space. It absorbs most of the cosmic rays from outer space and a major portion of the electromagnetic radiation from the sun. An atmosphere transmits only here ultraviolet visible near infrared radiation and radio waves while filtering out tissue damaging ultraviolet waves below about 300 nanometer. The atmosphere is composed of nitrogen and oxygen besides argon, carbon dioxide and trace gases. And the second one is hydrosphere. The hydrosphere comprises all types of water resources, oceans, seas, lakes, rivers, streams, reservoir, polar ice caps, glaciers and groundwater. Natural 97% of the Earth's water supply is in the oceans and about 2% of the water resources is uh, locked in the polar ice caps and glaciers. Only about 1% is available as free surface water rivers, lake streams and groundwater fit to be used for human consumption and other uses. Then in third, the lithosphere is the outer mantle of the solid earth. It consists of minerals occurring in the earth's crust and the soil, for example, minerals, organic matter, air and water. And it provides a medium for the cycle of nutrients or minerals. It supports the light forms that dwell in the varied terrestrial habitats that exist on land and it is the main nutrient pool for the land animals. It helps in the fixation, growth, and development of plants, habitat for terrestrial animals and microorganisms. Then now, the biosphere, it indicates the realm of living organisms and their interactions with environment, for example, atmosphere, hydrosphere, and photosphere. And the biosphere provides the ecosystem that is needed for survival. Adaptation to the biosphere's climate is expected for living organisms. And biodiversity thrives within ecosystems. And the biosphere is a reliable source of food on Earth. And biodiversity is just what it sounds like, biological variety. So these are the scope of environmental science. Environmental science is a multidisciplinary science which basic aspects have a direct relevance to every section of the society. Its main aspects are the conservation of nature and natural resources, conservation of biological diversity, control of environmental pollution, stabilization of human population and environment, social issues in relation to development and environment and the development of a non-polluting renewable energy system and providing a new dimension to the nation's security. So safe environment for a better future. Thank you.